As mentioned in the previous chapter, the quality of the materials is important in hydroponics. In this chapter, I will discuss the different materials that you need to complete your crafty hydroponic system. Here are your shopping lists. You will be needing a nutrient water container, some nutrients, net cups, grow medium, Caesar seedlings, and of course, grow lights. To enlighten you more about these materials, let's go into them deeper. It is vital that you are getting not only the right but the best hydroponic materials as they will greatly affect your growth success and yield. I am dropping the links to some of the trusted and verified stores where I usually buy my grow materials. Just check them out at the description section below. Let us start with the water tank. Here you can use some mason jars or a large container. Perhaps you're asking when should you use um, mason jars or large containers? If you're someone who's just starting and you want to try out different crops individually, I advise that you go with mason jars. Mason jars are a low-cost alternative to expensive hydroponic system and they are also space-friendly, thus they are suitable for home gardening. On the other hand, you can use large containers or buckets instead. In large containers, you can just drill many holes and you can already produce a ton of lettuce or the crop of your choice. Um, just a tip, you can use any type of container but be sure to get the ones that are opaque. If there's none, since usual mason jars are clear glass, you can remedy by wrapping them around with an opaque material or cloth. Be creative! Next up, we have the nutrients. The hydroponic nutrients are somehow similar to the fertilizer you use in soil. A hydroponic fertilizer solution is essentially a liquid that contains all of the required nutrients for plants to grow. A hydroponic system needs this since water is not automatically nourished with the essential elements the plants need. And speaking about nutrients, here are the essential macro and micro elements that your plants need in order to grow and survive. Macronutrients are nutrients that plants require in big amounts. They are the most important nutritional minerals to focus on first. These are nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium, calcium, sulfur, and magnesium. Micronutrients are still necessary for plant growth, albeit in lower quantities. These are zinc, iron, boron, and manganese. When selecting available solutions for your hydroponic garden, keep in mind that the nutrients should be created especially for hydroponics alone. Forget about the all-in-one kit that can be used in both soil and hydroponics. Common soil fertilizers do not provide the micronutrients required by hydroponic plants. In light of this, make sure that you always buy two-part nutrients. Why? Because certain minerals can be combined together and many single-part nutrients lack calcium, which is the primary cause of failure. I know that all of this information and hard to pronounce elements are a mouthful to take. So allow me to save you the time in selecting the best nutrients there is. Go check out the Primitives Hydroponic Leaf and Fruit Nutrients. I'm telling you, this is a guaranteed win. I have been using this ever since I started growing hydroponic crops and my garden has become really, really productive. You can get them by clicking on the link below or by visiting the minifarm.co website. I even got them to give me an exclusive 10% discount, which I am sharing with you guys today too. Just input the code GROWFAST before you check out. Okay, moving on, another vital component of the Cracky Hydroponic System are the net cops. This will hold your crop along with the grow medium. 
An important consideration here is its size. If you're growing lettuce, a 2-inch nut cup will be suitable. If you're growing peppers or tomatoes, you can go with the larger ones at 4 to 6 inches. Up next, we have the grow medium. Hydroponic farmers utilize a variety of grow media in place of soil to create a substrate that anchors the plants and aids in the delivery of water, nutrients, and oxygen to the plant roots. Some of the best grow medium you can use are clay pebbles, prep wool, cocoa choir, perlite, grow stones, and foam cubes. Of course, you also need to prepare your seeds. Start by choosing the right lettuce variety according to your needs. I get my seeds from the mini farm store as they are super affordable. I share the link in the description section too should you want to check them out. The germination process may take 14 days for the lettuce plants to become fully ready to be transplanted in the Kratky system. And lastly, we have grow lights. These grow lights are advantages in many ways. First, it offers a faster harvest cycle. Even when it's peach black outside, your plants will keep growing with the LED lights in the grow chamber. Next, LED grow lights are gentler and it will not cause a burning effect on the plant. Given the plant's restricted energy supply, it will not feel as though it is overworking itself. You can also control which frequency of light you will use in your plants. In a nutshell, grow lights are not harsh on the environment, less expensive on the electricity bill, and provide all the light your indoor plants require to thrive. Now, what are the qualities of a good LED light? First and foremost, it must have a low heat output since high heat output affects plant protection and durability. It must also have a semiconductor chip. This chip is the heart of the LED light and it not only converts electricity to light but it also plays a role in selecting the wavelength. It must also have a full spectrum. Different wavelengths are required for optimal photosynthesis and some of the finest LED grow lights can give plants with the complete spectrum required throughout each development cycle. Quality LED bulbs are not only efficient but also simple to use and allow you to fine-tune their location with no effort. It is also critical that the wavelength and light intensity be changeable. Look for grow lights that are simple to care for and ready to use right out of the box. When I was just starting with hydroponics, nobody informed me on where to get the right grow light so I had many failed purchases. Let me spare you from that experience today by recommending this indoor growing friend, the Sunshark LED Grow Lights. Get yours now from the minifarm.co website or simply click in the link at the description section below. I guarantee that this will really ensure your garden success as it did with mine. So that's it for this video. Don't forget to follow us on our social media accounts and join our vibrant community of growers by clicking on the link in the description box below. You can also check out our website at www.foodforest.club for more updates and info about our upcoming works and projects. This is Bea, your guide in this exciting urban gardening adventure.